I like being a Mark Twain. I like being up in the elite society, so to speak. Carl, I don't feel like we're a great team, but I do feel like our boys deserve a lot of credit for the way they're playing. Well, now, uh, of course, this team's going to be gunning for you. Is it tough to keep your boys up for something like this? Oh, yes. They're, they're not overly uh, confident, and uh, they won't underrate Auburn. But the thing is, Auburn can whip us whether we are uh, overly confident or not. They're good enough to whip us up in front. Uh, we'll have quite a battle with them. Yes, in fact, that's true of every team we're going to meet. We're not strong enough like a few of the teams in the country to where whenever they meet a, another foe that maybe has lost three or four ball games, they can just play an average game and win. We can't. We've got to play fine football every Saturday as good as we're capable of playing. Now, you've made a few changes this week uh, around your linemen, switching one from defense to offense. Is this a problem in the middle of the season? Yes, it is. We normally wouldn't do this, but we're having trouble up front, and we had it start seeing on our offensive line of scrimmage. And uh, we're moving Middleton, who wasn't a regular offensive guard for two years. We're moving him back to his regular spot as offensive guard. We're moving Lamar Wright, an offensive tackle, into the other guard spot to strengthen our guard position for blocking. We're moving a boy named Penley in at the offensive tackle. We're doing this strictly to try to strengthen our offensive blocking so that we can try to put Lenny Snow and Jimmy Brown and Kim King out on open field some. Coach, may you continue to be a marked man. Thank you. <laughs>